Hello everyone, it's Brock Haster here, and I'm playing a little bit of Star Sector. It's an awesome game, uh, a title developed by a very small team. I believe there's less than what you can count on one hand. And um, they've been at it for a long time, and I really want to give them a bit of a shout out here today, because they've made a game I think really uh, has some exemplary AI. They do have a lot behind the scenes in how they direct their fleets in, in both in commerce and colonies and the interaction between the different factions uh, plays out very realistically and um, for a game where you're playing uh, against the NPCs um, it's it seems very accurate as far as how you'd expect uh, different factions to behave. So, without any further delay, uh, at this point in the game, uh, I've had a couple attempts at this uh, as far as uh, playing a campaign. Um, this would be, I think, my third real attempt. Uh, I've had a couple false starts, but uh, at this point I've got uh, five colonies running and they're producing quite well. Some of them are still yet to come online with their mining or their actual industry. I build them up with, uh, with orbital stations and patrol headquarters and ground support um, before I really start adding any industry to them, which is smart because as soon as you add industry and you start affecting the economy and the markets around you, different factions will get angry and they'll start targeting you and that is what I am seeing right now I've been getting targeted by um, colony threats the Ludic Path Ludic Path up here have been attacking my colonies down here for since I started the campaign and uh, I did make a run at them their base is really heavily fortified I didn't have very good ships at that time and I've now since fortified my fleets with higher tech ships and uh, ships that have phase shield capability. I've thrown a few tankier ones in there with some with some larger hull values uh, to absorb some of the onslaught because uh, this Ludic Path mothership is or base ship is really heavily fortified. It has modules that are extend out from within the base. Uh, module and you have to knock each one of them out both their shields and the actual module before it rotates past the path of your ship so I think it really either requires heavy heavy concentration on one, one point or distributed fire around the entire base so that even though it rotates out of your attack range of your ships there'll be other ships within uh, firing range and then you'll be able to maintain keeping their shields down long enough to actually blow up the modules my personal opinion is concentrated fire would work better um, however I still don't have a real theory and I don't like to research too much as far as how other people are doing it um, before I take on these kind of challenges I will look into these things afterwards but my first time through I really like to try to beat things of my own uh, volition and uh, decisions so I'm a little bit uh, well I'm playing the, the hardcore mode where you're not able to just create a save point at any at any time however you are still able to back out of a horrible uh, combat encounter which allows you to somewhat scum save back to your previous point so the, I, I guess the developers made it that way um, uh, that is their intentions which is good um, I mean if that's how they want you to play it that's how I play it um, but I generally like to be kind of a purist in maintaining my save point however at this point let's get moving here and um, find our way to the combat zone I'm not really sure uh, looks like I got some debris there yes no it looks like I've already hit it yeah I don't really know what I'm up for I know they have there's a couple sensors in there it's good to either knock out or take control of those sensors uh, before you enter into combat pardon me 
Um, so I will try to do that. It also serves as a distraction if you if you take out uh, a sensor array or a nav beacon. It'll, they'll send out fleets to go in and see what happened. And at that point, you can normally take a shot at the the base without having to fight those fleets. Uh, so there's a sensor array there. The nav boy up here. Um, which I think it would make sense if I hit this one first and then run back up there while they're coming down here. That's the plan. No guarantee I'm going to get this done. Um, but we're sure going to give it our best shot. It's a tough base, that's all I know. I'm going to break it down. Because I think they'll get down here and repair it probably before I oop, take all that. <sighs> okay. I'm presuming that they'll be sending their ships down. Might as well burn my way back there. Big asteroid field here. I think I made a few purchases. That's a pretty weak monthly income. guys. Gonna try to take a wide berth. Uh, not seeing them. That's good. Flew right by it. What's going on? How many times do I need to target that? Okay. Break it for salvage. Proceed. Take all. And we're going to take a... I keep left clicking. That's what's wrong. Alright. So we're going to take a straight shot at this. This is good. I know there's a lot of fleets in this sector. I was here before. Um, and I actually absorbed the damage, took that save, and carried on. I, I sucked it up. They basically wiped me out. Um, and pardon me, I need some water. And I hope my captains, I didn't look at my ships to be sure. But I think I can do it here. I want to make sure that my fleet has the, the proper captains in control of the right ships. Uh, where are they? Oh, there's two down there. Yeah, okay. No, we want... Uh, this dude has good carrier control. Um, I need a good ballistics captain on the doomed ship. And who else do we got there? We'll basically throw that guy on there anyway. He's got some good ballistics. Ah, I need to level these guys up. Uh, I actually like having the carrier command stuff on my captains. They seem to look after that really well. And I'll do this guy as well. Base of action for a little more speed. Okay, so that's a good captain setup. Um, now here's a question I have. I'm just gonna look at what ships they have while I'm here. Not bad, the pirates are better equipped. Um, yeah, what do I else do I want? Yeah, what I'm wondering is, 
when you raid them, like, okay, I can see their inventory here, and I've noticed that. We'll try it. I think I've got some um, Marines. Yep. Yeah. We're only going to get 42%, but see what we get. Yeah, it does appear that you get the items that are in the inventory. But I don't know whether it's worth raiding before you knock out the base anyway. Which is what we're about to do. And I will observe and captain one of the carriers. Off we go. Yeah, no guarantees. Uh, I have no idea that this is going to be a successful deployment, but um, I have a vendetta with these guys and they have persistently pestered me the whole way through. So here we go. Um, yeah, these are all heavy hitters, so I'm just going to say, go to it, boys. And we'll see what happens. I love the um, the teleport um, bombs that the Doom Fighters produce. I think that's hilarious. It's taking us a little while to get it to within range, but it's nice. We're coming at it from a few angles. So at least one ship doesn't take the concentrated, one big concentrated blast when you first approach. I find that's a, a good idea. Yeah, we're looking good so far. We can knock that module out. We want to really destroy the module. If you get the shields down. There's no easy way that I've been able to find to target one module. But yeah, we're getting them out. That's good. Might be able to do this. This ship just hits hard, but I like what I'm seeing so far. I'm not taking direct control of any ships. I find the game AI serves really well in doing the basic functions and that it's better to observe, although I could be joining in on this. If you've got a complicated battle, it's better to keep your eyes on on the overall picture and direct your fleets correctly with good commands. Yeah, this will be great if we can get it done. I'm really uh, tired of dealing with these guys. I really want him to take that out. Yes! Alright, we're gonna do it. I think we're gonna do it. That's the tough one. There. Come on, guys. Get it done. Carriers. I should be bringing in reinforcements and fast. Why wasn't? I have no idea. I should have did that way sooner. As soon as this thing gets a handle on things, it rips things down fast. Yes. Module, that's really nice. Teleporting those bombs in there past the shields is almost necessary. <laughs> they know to attack, but I just want to make sure. I 
that guy's just attacking the hull. Thought he was attacking the hull. Looks like he's heading in the module now. That's an Omni shield, so it goes all the way around it. I don't know if you can teleport past it. Very promising. I'm liking what I'm seeing. Most of my high-tech ships are using phase lances and pulse lasers or uh, plasma lasers. So, uh, I'll double check that. I think it's plasma laser. The large version. I think the uh, medium energy weapons are a little lackluster from my understanding. Come on, take it out. Now, do it! We must do it! Yes! Yeah, we got him. We got him, boys. Girls. There it goes. That makes me happy. No more dealing with the Lodok path. And let's see if we can get back our ships. If we can. The ones I care about. <laughs> I didn't even see the other Doom ship go down, which is interesting. Uh, it's a pretty good chunk of loot. And we're taking it. And a lot of experience. Quite happy with that. So, there we are. The Lytic Path.